Hello there, this is James, your tactical manager at Panadoc, and today is Monday, April 10th, 2017, and in this video we'll be going through the HubSpot CRM integration with Panadoc. Now what does this integration do? This integration allows you to create, send, and track quotes, proposals, and contracts within HubSpot CRM. We will create Panadoc documents with the HubSpot CRM for the contact, companies, and deal objects. We can use your HubSpot CRM fields and custom fields to send data from HubSpot CRM to Panadoc via tokens and text field fields. Be able to track Panadoc document statuses directly inside a HubSpot CRM object. And be able to track the document status by the HubSpot CRM, CRM contact event tracker to track the progress of your Panadoc documents. Please note that this integration is available for all Panadoc plans. Before you get started, you need to make sure you have sign up for a Panadoc account. You have one right here. Next, we'll go through the step one of going through the connection of the integration. So first is we need to go to the Panadoc add-on store. So let's go ahead and do that. Here, down here on the lower left-hand side, we go down to the add-on store. We go to a section called integrations, and then we click on uh, the HubSpot integration right here. We have some information on what this integration is about, a link to the FAQ, and some screenshots. To add this, all we need to do is click on is add to Panadoc. If you're using our enterprise Pandoc version, you might have options for multiple workspaces, but if not, all we need to do is click on Save Changes, and now the integration has been enabled for your account with this little checkbox right here. Back to the FAQ, let's go down here a little bit. So the next option we need to do is actually enable this inside of Pandoc so that it gets connected. To do this, once again, let's go into Pandoc, we go down on the lower left-hand side, we go down into Settings, and this time we go into Integrations. Over here on the right hand side you'll find HubSpot, we click on that. We have some information what this uh, integration is all about and all we need to do is click on HubSpot integration. Now it might ask you to log in here and if it does go and log in with your HubSpot credentials. You re review this information and you click on grant access. Give it a couple seconds here, we'll go through connected, give you a successful authentication and let you know it has been connected to your account and now it is working correctly. So let's go back to the FAQ. As we scroll down, we have all this information, how we connect. Now we're going to talk about accessing the Pandoc integration inside of HubSpot. So let's go ahead inside of HubSpot. Once again, we could do this from the contacts, companies, and deals objects. So let's go ahead into deals. Uh, open up all my list of deals will show up here. We're going to go ahead and click on a use for demo purposes deal that we have right here. As we scroll down, you have all the company information that you see here. You keep on going down. We also have a contact, of course, because we can send this information over to Pandoc via a thing that's called roles. We'll talk about that. And, of course, here's the Pandoc module, which shows the information of existing documents. We can create a brand new document. And underneath actions, we have the option to show Pandoc tokens. We'll talk to you about all what this, what this does right here. So it's back to the FAQ. Let's scroll down a little bit. So the next thing we need to talk about, of course, is the sending of data from HubSpot to uh, Pandoc. And we do that by using a couple different things. First is we use things called Pandoc roles. So with the use of Pandoc roles, we can import HubSpot deal object contact information, including the first name, last name, email address, and company. To do this, let's go into Pandoc. We're going to open up a template here. So I'm going to go into my integrations templates and click on one here. Here is a uh, template we have in Pandoc. Over here on the right hand side we go into roles and you notice that I created two roles here called a signer and sender role. And, but what this does for us is that now if you go to content and go to tokens, we have four tokens based upon each role for first name, last name, email address and company, which in turn we can add our to our individual uh, templates to populate in the information when we create documents. For example, I've used it right here for prepared for. The other thing that we could do, of course, is send over other types of field information from HubSpot to Pandoc, and we could do that by the use of tokens. So to find tokens inside of HubSpot, we go into the Pandoc section underneath Actions, and we click on Show Pandoc Tokens. Our module will pop up here, and because we're inside of a deal object, we have different types of tokens, including company tokens. For example, here's all the company tokens that we have, and here's the values of those individual tokens. And if we want to, for example, send over the company information, we can copy this token and in turn add this into our uh, template, for example, right here. We can also do this with deal tokens. So, for example, here's all the deal tokens we could use, and of course, values of those. For example, if we wanted to capture or to send over the deal ID, uh, we could do this right here, copy it, 
go into our Pandoc template, scroll down where we have deal information and paste in that token right there as well. So that's a really great way to send that information over. The other thing that we could do here, we can also use these things called text fields. And what a text field is, is a way for our recipients to fill it out. Or if you want it pre-populated with the same types of values, all that we need to do is use the same value of the token for, without the brackets. So here's the token with brackets. Here is the title without brackets to populate that same information inside of that field. Let's go back to the FAQ, and so this is how, of course, we talk about tokens and how to use tokens inside of our in Pandoc templates. We also provide a list of example list of tokens that we can be used as well. So if you wanted to, you could copy them right from here and paste them into your individual Pandoc templates as well. Uh, we scroll down, here's all the deal example of tokens, the contact information of tokens. But we also have the ability to use some custom fields in HubSpot and how to use tokens as well. So here's an example of a tokens you can create using for deal, contact, or company, but please note that if you're using HubSpot custom fields that have spaces, the tokens would not use those spaces. For example, inside of my deal object, I have a field or a custom field called number of employees with spaces there, and this is an example of the token we would use. So a bracket, deal, period, uppercase lettering, and no spaces, which in turn we can copy and paste it over for your individual custom fields. We also, of course, we talked about using those text fields as well to populate or send that information over inside of a field option as well. So let's go ahead now and create ourselves our first document here. We're going to use this information to populate over. Uh, we're going to also have this contact here. This is going to be sent over to our rules as well to populate our role token information. And we'll go through and create our first document and see how we track it uh, with the integration. Okay, so all we do, do now is click on create document and this message to the screen will pop up here in our module for Pandoc, which in turn uh, we could go ahead and use the templates that we want to use for our first document, which is going to be our, our integrations template. You notice that here's the contact information automatically be assigned to my first role. However, I can remove that and add that into different roles as well, because you might have different contacts or multiple contacts associated with your deal objects in HubSpot. We click on start editing. And now it's going to be taking us into the document process or the document view of our uh, what we want to send out today. Here, as you notice, that my token, my role token information populated. As we scroll down here, here is my other token field information, including name, price, and uh, description. Here's that field information that's been populated as well. Right here, you notice that. As we scroll down, here's our uh, com more company information that's all been populated from our object in HubSpot. And of course, all of our deal information uh, as well. Uh, we keep on going down. Our contact information did not populate because we did not start from a contact object. However, if you did, that information would populate as well. And we finally scroll down. Here's examples for custom fields that's populated that information. So now at the draft level of our document, of course, we can add additional content if we need it different uh, additional text box or videos or whatnot. As a part of our Pandoc uh, business and enterprise plan, we also have a content library features that if you've created content in the past, you could save it, for example, and you can simply drag and drop that information over. But let's say we're all ready to go. All we need to do now is click on send. First message will come up here, use for demo purposes, and we do a quote for Henry. So we all know what this one is. And we click on save and continue. Our save message screen pops up here. We can modify our subject line here if we want to, include, a, a, uh, include an optional message if we wanted to, and go ahead and click on send document. Give it a couple seconds here, and of course the document is going to be sent out to the Pandoc system to our recipients. This, of course, which is Henry. We will receive a notification that the document has been sent out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close out of here, and I'm going to turn. I'm going to uh, refresh my ideal object inside of HubSpot. But you notice now here's one place that we track this individual document: is that we have the document name, we have the individual status. So as the progression or the life cycle of that document continues, it'll go from a sent to a viewed, and of course to a completed status. We have the created by option or who, who, when it was created, how long ago, and who created that individual document. And of course, we do have the option to download that, that document straight to the PDF version as well. Now, the other place that we, uh, we track this information is that in the individual contact itself. So, so remember, we sent this out to Henry, and in turn, if we click on that, we open up the contact object in HubSpot. Right down here at the bottom, using the contact uh, event timeline, we can enable pan 
scan doc right here and in turn show that document it is in turn it's going to be let you know when that document has changed the status for example when it's been viewed you'll have another event when the document has completed it will be have another event as well which in turn uh, you could track this information as part of the individual contact object as well okay so as we continue to scroll down here that's what we went through when we talked about tracking of documents and how the information can be showed as well um, at any time if you ever need to remove the integration from HubSpot we do this by going into HubSpot going to the top right hand side we click on integrations and we have the pan doc right here all we need to do is click on uninstall the integration and then now it's been completely been removed from your HubSpot individual account so once again this is the HubSpot serum integration with Pandoc. It's fantastic integration and get you going to uh, have your workflows better and get those documents sent out directly from your HubSpot. Uh, add additional fields and information, get that document sent out quickly and then continue to track that Pandoc document right in inside of HubSpot. If you do have any additional questions please reach out to us and we'll do our very best to take care of you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.